Hey guys, this is JavaCat and welcome to a brand new Minecraft tutorial. Today we are going to look at the basics of both vertical and horizontal flying machines that can be very easily built with honey block, slime block or even both. These machines are extremely easy to build and demand very less resources. Building these flying machines are almost as easy as hitting the like button and subscribing to the channel. I highly recommend that you see the full video from start to end so you don't miss out on any important content. Here we have all the non-pushable blocks in this game. We use a lever to power a redstone current through all the pistons, but none of the pistons are able to push the blocks. The first block here is the extended piston. Extended pistons cannot be pushed. The next block is the obsidian, this is too heavy, it can be pushed and any block in the game that has an inventory cannot be pushed. That includes the two types of chests, hoppers, all types of smelters, dispensers or droppers. All of them cannot be pushed. Or we won't be using any of these blocks in the flying machine as they would stop the flying machine except for the pistons. We are going to use the obsidian to stop the flying machine from flying to a certain point and just keep flying forever. We need something to stop it so we can use obsidian. Let's take a look at horizontal flying machines. Firstly, we cannot place our flying machine right above the ground. That's, I won't be able to push anything because slime blocks are going to get stuck with the grass. And as you can see, the slime blocks have no problem in moving when we get rid of the grass. So let's start building our flying machine. We're going to start one block up and continue to stop the machine here. So to make a flying machine, we're gonna go sticky piston, slime block, a sticky piston facing the other way, a slime block, an observer facing into the air above the sticky piston and an observer facing into the air above the other sticky piston and here it is our slime block our flying machine it's that simple all you have to do is activate the observer and it starts flying until, the, until touching the next push non-pushable block this is in this case our obsidian we placed here earlier. We can replace the slime blocks with honey blocks and it makes no difference. It flies, there's no problem. We can even replace one of this one of the honey blocks with slime blocks and it still works. There's no problem. Now these flying machines can be extended up to 9 blocks in both sides, but no, blo but no more above 9. Any more above 9 would stop it from working. So right now we have done 9 blocks and it works just fine, it's flying. Let's do 9 blocks the other side as well. And there's no problem. And now I'm going to place one more block that makes 10 and as you can see the machine's not working anymore. It just doesn't work. This is because the maximum number here is 9. You cannot go to more than 9 because that would be more than 12 which is the capacity of a piston. So now for our next demonstration I'm going to remove these uh, quartz blocks just for the sake of being able to see the flying machine and we are going to automate the process here and now I now what I want here is the moment the slime the slime block flying machine or should I say the, just the flying machine that is one side it automatically goes back for that we are going to need a piston 
activating the observer. We cannot use a trapdoor activating the observer because that would mean the trapdoor gets dragged along with it. So we are going to need uh, observer. A repeater and redstone oh, we place a repeater behind the observer and we and we set the tick to four and now we need to test it out Let's make it fly all the way there. Place a block and make it fly back. And now the flying machine should automatically move back. Yes, it works. And this block does need to be obsidian or else it gets dragged along with the flying machine. So let's do the same for the other side. We're gonna do redstone repeater with four duration, four tick duration that is, a piston with redstone wired up to it. And we place a torch under it to activate the piston and it starts moving, no problem. But the only problem here is that it's just gonna non stop continue moving back and forth and back and forth and just continue. We need some way to stopping it. And for that, there's a really easy way to stop it, which is to keep it powered on. We can use a lever for that. All we need to do is attach the lever on any of these quartz blocks and power it on. But that makes the piston activated and the flying machine no longer goes back. Once we deactivate the lever, flying machine starts flying back and forth again now let's take a look at vertical flying machines okay, we start over there so we place an obsidian and we put it all the way up to basically how high you want this machine to fly and put another block of obsidian Now to make a vertical flying machine, we place two sticky blocks An observer like so and a sticky piston above it Then two more sticky blocks A piston like so And obs an observer like so When you place a block, it flies. It works with no problem. Okay, but unfortunately, we'll have to move the obsidian block uh, one step to the right in order to trigger the observer. Yes, and it works with no problem. Let's try replacing one of the sides with honey blocks. As you can see, it still works. Let's use let's use uh, honey blocks on both the sides. It still works. Now I want to try I want to try something. Let's automate the process. I want it to go up and come down automate automatically. So to do that, we're going to have uh, have an observer detect. When the, when the flying machine reaches here, which is going to trigger the trap door, which counts as a block update, so the observer on the flying machine is going to activate. So we need an observer facing like so. A block behind it. Redstone. And let's see if that activates the redstone. Yes, it does. 
you need to put a repeater with a 4 tick delay now does that activate the trapdoor? it does now when we activate the flying machine not only does it go up but it goes down automatically okay, let's do the same thing for the bottom Okay, so this is the setup I figured out. An uh, observer facing into a redstone repeater with four ticks and a redstone current leading to a trapdoor. Now let's see if it keeps working. The flying machine went all the way up and it's coming down. And it's going back up again. So the repeater here is set to 4 ticks, the current passes through and it activates the trapdoor. It's that simple. And of course we can just turn this thing off by uh, flicking a lever. And that turns it off. Flick the lever and it turns on again. We can extend both the sides on this. Us on this uh, flying machine as well, but only to eight blocks on either side. That is, now does that fly? Yes, it does. But uh, you cannot go to more than eight. If you put nine, it's just not gonna work. So if you're wondering what you will, may use this flying machine for, here I have an elevator. All I do is jump into this elevator, click on a simple button that, act that activates an observer, and we go up. All I do is press the button again, and we go down. I have built a working elevator using a flying machine. But of course, if you find this flying machine easier to build than a simple bubble column, then okay, you can go build it. Go. Please have enjoyed this video. Leave a like on this video if you did. Subscribe to the channel for more videos like this, and I'll see you guys soon in a brand new video.